it's on our hills or mountains back here. It's just a little yellow ochre and white. And we're just gonna, like if the light's coming from this way, it could have been a little touch there, a little touch here on the front. Just not much, just enough to sort of get a glint of maybe where a rock would be up because this is just kind of our uh, very distant. Nothing's going to be that clear on it. We can put a little bit on this side, which should be slightly darker. So we'll just, or you could even just um, put it on the same and then uh, wipe it off just a little bit so it wouldn't be quite as bold there. But just a little. We don't we don't need much on this one because it's just kind of sloped wrong that the light would go over it and it would just be more in shadow. Just something kind of bright right in there to lead us back. We might even put just a tad something right in there. Something bright. Okay, what, let's go with just a little tiny bit of pretty bright back in here because we're still wanting to just take the eye on the back of the picture. Even though this is a smaller canvas, you semi want to think you could just take a stroll, walk right into it. Now we kind of have our background, you know, we're not going to do that much detail back in here because it's impressionist, that's going to be furry or fuzzy, you know, just where you can't see it too well regardless. So what we're going to do today is try to finish the trees, put in a little grass here in the front, a few shadows, and since this is an Impressionist painting, that'll be the end of it. Then you can add anything you would like to detail, but once you get it where you like it, you better just quit. Okay. The uh, trees were bothering me just a little bit that Maybe something just a touch brighter on here might might bring up just just a little bit more. Just give them just a little more definition up in here. Not much because we just we don't want it too bright because technically our our center of interest or the point you first see is way back here, and then your eyes just kind of roam around the picture, and then you go back to the center of interest. So. You don't really want anything that's just going to grab your eye before that does. Let's see, let's just give him just a tad. Just a little. You just keep turning your brush a little bit. Maybe a little bit right up in here. You always dull it down with your pinky there, your finger. Depending which finger you'd rather have paint on, I suppose. Okay, now, the trees what we want to do with them is uh, first do a little test, see what color we got going there. Okay, this is lighter. Now we want the tree, because the light's from this direction, we want a little bit lighter on the outsides of the trees there. Just, like here comes the sun and that's where it got a glint. Some of these birch type. I mean, they're they're so bright you practically need a mirror when you're, when you're in the bright sun the way it'll bounce off of you. Birch aspen. I think I called it alder before but I meant aspen. It's white bark trees. Anyway. Let's put just a tad on our other little I'm going to stand the skinny little trees over here, just a little. I'm just trying to make it look a little rounder. If you're bold, you can put just a little up in here. If it's bright, you semi-touch it down with your finger. Technically, I guess most artists are finger painters at some point. It's not much, just a little hint that the light went through there. Then we also want to go just a little bit uh, darker on the other side of the tree because that uh, would be more in a shadow. 
no, not a lot darker. It's not really that noticeable, probably. Let's see how that looks. That may be too dark. Mm, I think it's probably okay. And you just kind of have to judge that for yourself. If you're wondering about it or worrying about it a little bit, um, go outside and look at a tree. <laughs> you know, you always need a good model to look at. Just a hint of darkness on those others. They're just so tiny and further away that you're just not going to see it as much. You still need a little detail there. Okay. Now we probably also want to uh, look at our fence post just a little bit more. And um, they're a little on the dark side. You may want to just touch it just a little lighter on this side. Yeah, that's too light. Probably set for just a real bright highlight. Let me get a little more brown there. And you know, you can go with as many layers as you want to. What you normally do is you put your first coat of paint, should be your most neutral in every area, and then you go back with something that might be a little darker once or twice, and then a little lighter once or twice, and you can go with as many shades as you feel called to put on there. I think that's better, but kind of fat on the brush there. Some people would be getting a smaller brush, but you know, like I said, I just, I kind of still have that phobia about having to wash too many brushes. Or dishes, for that matter. And I wanted to uh, tell you that a lot of times people they don't want to, they want to paint, but they just don't want the, um, they just don't think, I don't have a place to paint, I don't have time to paint. That's what I was thinking for a long time, and I really miss doing it, so ultimately what came up was, you know, the outdoors are pretty big, so if that's the only place you've got to paint, then um, get out there and do it. I mean, I'm not only doing it outside, I'm talking to myself, and all the neighbors are going by like, uh-oh, a nut moved into the neighborhood. I really don't care. Okay, now let's see here. We're going to put a little bit of trees in there. I believe I'm going to get a bristle brush for that. This is my new bristle brush. Remember, you can go to my website to find out where I get get my brushes and all my supplies. Let's see what we think about this. Two. So it's a pretty dry brush, by the way. don't have to be exact. This is not a water shadow, you know, so we're not doing a mirror image here. And then we're finally going to get a little of the shadow of the leaves, so it's going to be a little bit bigger out in here. Just, you know, first we just have little trunks like this. Nothing too fancy there, just just the hint or just the impression of it. Same thing for up there. Let's go a little further over here. 